Good morning and welcome to News 12. I'm delighted to welcome to the studio with us Hannah Hammond from the uh, Chattanooga Tourism Company. Hannah, thank you for joining us thanks, this morning. Thanks for having me. We uh, appreciate it. I know it's early in the morning, but <laughs> yeah. uh, we're, we're very grateful that you're here. Yeah. Now, for people who might not know, uh, can you give us a, a brief description, if that's possible, uh, of the things that you do with the Chattanooga Tourism Company? Yeah, so um, I'm part of the marketing team. I do public relations at Chattanooga Tourism Co. Um, also for Chattanooga Sports, too. So, yeah, lots of fun stuff. I was going to say with a town like Chattanooga that yeah. has so much to offer, uh, it, it, it is probably a lot out there for you to draw from. Yeah, the, it's never boring. Never. <laughs> so, and, and we were even talking during the break that you, you got to tell people about the, the big three, you know, the aquarium, mm -hmm. Ruby Falls and Rock City. But there's so many other things uh, besides that, that that might not get the attention that they deserve. Now, yeah. with spring coming, all the, the things that spring brings, it also brings a uh, spring break. It brings kids. It brings uh, parents. Right. And there's a lot to do for them out there, isn't there? Yes, yes. So spring break safari in Chattanooga is coming up. It starts next week. Um, I'm so excited. I can't believe we're that soon. But, you know, spring break safari is just a really good opportunity for our city and our amenities and all the attractions to kind of amplify their offerings and really shine and like you know because we're going to have a lot of visitors coming in so they can show them you know what we offer here in the city but also for those residents that are staying in town there's something new for them to do at these attractions that they may be members of or visit often there's going to be different hands-on activities for them to enjoy not only that but the people who come to visit they're going to have stories to take back to wherever they come from uh, about what a wonderful city chattanooga is there. yes absolutely um, like i mentioned the attractions will be doing some extra activities, extra extra funsies for the families and the kids. We also have scavenger hunts. Um, scavenger hunts are yeah. great. I mean, I think everyone from little kids to grown people can enjoy a great scavenger hunt. Yes, yes. And, you know, it's completely free. Um, our scavenger hunts, you do not need to pay admission anywhere. Um, we, we have a couple in our different areas. So we have a scavenger hunt in the North Shore District, um, in the South Side. So different areas. Um, to encourage people to go and explore areas that maybe they wouldn't normally go to. Sure, you're, you're looking for whatever it is, and that's probably where you're going to find it. Right. Uh, and the safari, the spring break safari. Tell us about that. Yes, so that is our big campaign for the spring, um, and our attractions come together, and we, we get a game plan of how we're just going to amplify our offering. So um, kids will be able to do special activities and become an innovator at the Creative Discovery Museum, um, some extra activities at the zoo. Um, they'll feed a giraffe, become a zookeeper. So um, it's really to encourage kids and families to dive deeper into our city um, and come and enjoy it um, in a different season maybe. Maybe they haven't been here in the spring so they'll they'll get to see all the beautiful blooming um, happening and all the animals out. So yeah it's just a way for us to um, make sure that their experience is unforgettable. What are some of the locations that the safari includes? So it includes includes our main attractions, um, the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum, Rock City, Ruby Falls, Tennessee Aquarium, um, and then of course, like I mentioned, our scavenger hunts will kind of cover different areas and districts in our city. And although it might sound like it, uh, it's for people that are coming into our city, this is also for the people who live here already and to, uh, to, Absolutely. to make, our sh make ourselves shine. Absolutely. The Spring Break Safari activities will last for a month. Um, so it will go um, through April 9th. So for those people staying that, that live here or they're staying here for quite a long time, they can spread their activities out and um, have something to look forward to. And Hannah, how do people get a hold of you if they, if they would like to? What's the, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Yes, our website is visitchattanooga.com. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Not only for representing our city, but for coming in so early in the morning. I, 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 tru <laughs> I truly appreciate it. Thank you that. so much. Uh, please stay with it. We'll be right back.